Garcia. Shout out to Jay Calderon Boxing. Really Make sure you guys watch it. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Calderon, Stan Clear Entertainment, and we're about to get into this week's boxing talk. This Saturday, March 16th, it is the much anticipated Super Fight Showdown that a lot of boxing fans are very excited about to see IBF welterweight champion, undefeated Errol The Truth Spence Jr. take on four division world champion and future Hall of Famer Mikey Garcia. This is a fight right now that boxing fans have been licking their chops for ever since it's been announced that Mikey Garcia wanted to be great, wanted to step up two weight divisions to take on such a dangerous fighter like Errol Spence. Errol Spence is considered to be the most avoided welterweight at 147 pounds. Spence is a very big welterweight for the division. A lot of boxing experts believe that he will one day fight at the middleweight division because he has the body frame for that division later on in the future. He's still a young man. And he's still growing. This guy is a very strong, hard-hitting knockout puncher, a southpaw with excellent skills, and a tremendous body puncher. Mikey Garcia is taking on such a dangerous fight, but this man is trying to emulate what three other fighters have done before in the past, like Roberto Duran, Sugar Shane Mosley, and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. When they jump from 135 pounds 12 pounds in weight up to 147 pounds from the lightweight division to the welterweight division and they defeated guys like Sugar Ray Leonard and Oscar De La Hoya. Those fights right there, these guys were considered the underdog. You know, a lot of people didn't believe that Roberto Duran could beat a guy like Sugar Ray Leonard who was an Olympic gold medalist, a guy that was very fast, very skillful, and perhaps one of the best fighters pound for pound at the time. And Roberto Duran was a destroyer at the lightweight division, but people did not see that he could beat a guy like Sugar Ray Leonard. And in that first fight, he proved everyone wrong. And just like Manny Pacquiao, fought Oscar De La Hoya. I know De La Hoya was perhaps a shot fighter by that time, but a lot of people felt at that time that this was a very big mismatch and a dangerous fight for Pacquiao. A lot of people were saying that Pacquiao was gonna get slaughtered in this fight because Pacquiao was going up against 5'10", Oscar De La Hoya, a very big challenge for a small man, but Pacquiao proved everyone wrong in that fight. Same thing with Sugar Shane Mosley. This guy was an excellent fighter in the lightweight division and jumped up to the welterweight division. De La Hoya at the time was more at his prime in that fight, and it was a very close fight, a very entertaining fight, but the speed and the skills of Sugar Shane Mosley prevailed in that fight, and he squeaked out the victory against Oscar De La Hoya. So can Mikey Garcia join a list of elite fighters like Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas the Hitman Hearns, Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather, and Manny Pacquiao as the only fighters to win titles in five different weight divisions. Now, this is a very elite class of great fighters that are future Hall of Famers and current Hall of Famers right now. So, you know, Mikey Garcia already has the resume. He's already won titles at the featherweight division, super featherweight division, lightweight division, and junior welterweight division. He's already a future Hall of Famer. He's cemented his legacy already, but this guy is daring to be great. He's getting a very good big payday for this fight right here but he's not doing it for the money because he could take easier fights and make a lot of money in those fights as well he's already secured himself financially throughout his career so why is he taking this fight because he sees that the risk is worth the reward you know for Errol Spence this is nothing but a big name from a pound for pound fighter to add to his resume and also get a very big payday as well because nobody was fighting Errol Spence or lining up to fight him. You know, so Errol Spence didn't have anything on the table and Mikey Garcia called him out. So now he has accepted the challenge and has given Mikey Garcia the opportunity to fight for the IBF welterweight title to become that five division world champion. So how is this fight going to play out? It's going to be a big crowd on hand because Errol Spence is from the Texas area and Mikey Garcia is a very popular Mexican fighter from California and I expect a lot of people to show up to the AT&T Stadium and we've had already three fights that have taken place in this stadium. Manny Pacquiao has fought already twice where the first time he took on Joshua Clotty and put over 50,000 fans in attendance. The second time he fought there was against Antonio Margarito where he had over 40,000 fans show up for that fight. And then of course, Mexico's biggest star today 
Canelo Alvarez fought Liam Smith and put over 40,000 fans in attendance. So how many people will actually come to this fight? We're gonna find out and we're gonna see how well it does on Fox pay-per-view because it's the first pay-per-view show of Fox Television Network that they have put out. And we're looking to see how well it does against the other pay-per-view fights that have been taking place so far, like Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner, which did barely over 400,000 pay-per-view buys. And then we had Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder that did over 300, thousand buys. So where does Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence fall in the pay-per-view market? We're gonna have to wait and see once the numbers are tally up. But as far as the fight go, this is a fight where, you know, Mikey Garcia is going up against a southpaw who's very big in size and reach and height. He has tremendous punching power. He's an excellent body puncher and a very good boxer. Mikey Garcia is considered to be the more smarter fighter in the ring with his boxing IQ, the more experienced fighter. This guy knows how to position himself in the ring to make slight movements to be able to counter punch very nicely in this fight. He's not a fast fighter. Fighter. You know, he's been working with Victor Conti, and Conti is known for the steroid scandal that he had many years ago, but he's now considered one of the best strength and conditioning coach in the business right now with Snack. And Mikey Garcia has been training at that facility and bulking up for this fight. He's putting on the muscle mass, he's getting the stamina and the conditioning that he needs to go up against a very big fighter. Will that really help him in this fight? We know Mikey is a very good fighter. Technically, he's never lost. This is his 40th professional fight, and this is a fight where he's going to have to be more smarter than Errol Spence. He's going to have to weather the storm and survive those big shots if he gets hit cleanly. Can he take Errol Spence's punch? Because he has been knocked down before by lesser fighters and smaller fighters. So, can Mikey Garcia outbox Errol Spence in this fight? We saw what Kel Brooks did against Errol Spence for most of the fight in the beginning half where he looked very good against a guy like Errol Spence and gave Spence trouble throughout that fight, but then Spence was able to wear him down, damage his eye, and put him down to the canvas where he basically quit on one knee in that fight. But Kell Brooks was a much bigger man than what Mikey Garcia is. So Mikey Garcia is gonna have to fight a perfect fight. Is he a special type of fighter? I believe he is. But can he really defeat a guy like Errol Spence, who could be a special type of fighter as well? We haven't seen that from Errol Spence because he hasn't fought elite fighters. He's fought guys like Kell Brook, Lamont Peterson, and Chris Algieri. Those were good, solid fighters, very good fighters. And he looked spectacular in those fights as well. But this is a guy that he's not going to get a lot of credit for because he's fighting a guy that's two weight classes below him. And this is a matchup where he's expected to go in there and knock out Mikey Garcia. But I believe Mikey Garcia can make it to the 12th and final round. I believe that Mikey Garcia's skill set and his experience could carry him a long way into this fight. But can he win the fight is the question that I am asking a lot of boxing fans, you know, I question myself because I like both men. I think that Errol Spence is definitely going to win this fight. I believe in Errol Spence, but I also believe in Mikey Garcia. And I'm a big fan of Mikey Garcia since day one when he made his first professional fight. And I've watched him since that time. And I love Mikey Garcia. And I want him to come out victorious in this fight and make history as becoming a five-division world champion and one of the greatest fighters of this generation. That's what I want for Mikey Garcia. But I truly believe that Errol Spence will win a 12-round unanimous decision when it's all said and done. And I'm very excited for this fight. And I look forward for both men putting on a great night of boxing for boxing fans where fans are going to really get to see two top pound-for-pound -pound fighters on that pound-for-pound -pound list that are undefeated, that are both world champions facing each other in such a big mega super fight to show boxing fans what it truly means when they say the best face the best. And this is what this is right here. So I commend both men for stepping into the ring against each other and putting on a great fight for these boxing fans right here because a lot of people are very excited about this fight. And I believe this fight will turn out to be a thriller. Will it be a short night? For Mikey Garcia and a spectacular knockout for Errol Spence? Or will Mikey Garcia 
push the limit and make it to the 12th and final round? And will there be a proper decision by these judges to give the rightful decision to the man that really deserves it the most and win this fight? Let's hope there's a clear-cut winner when it's all said and done. But I'm very excited. So tune in to Fox Pay-Per-View. It's $75. You could also watch it in the movie theaters for $23. And if you have tickets to the event at the AT&T Stadium, it's going to be a great night in Texas. And a lot of boxing fans on hand to watch this spectacular fight. But that's my final take and analysis and predictions on the fight that's going to take place this Saturday night. So tune in. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to this YouTube channel right here, J. Calderon Boxing Talk. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. Put your email information in so you get all my notifications once I drop a new video. Follow me on all social media platforms, on Instagram, on Twitter, and also join the Facebook boxing group page, all under the same name, J. Calderon Boxing Talk. I'm J. Calderon, Stan Clear Entertainment. Thanks for your support. Keep watching, and please subscribe.